shortly. Time, though, now to catch up with a human highlight reel, former demon great Russell Robinson is his name. Russ, good to catch up. Thanks for your time again, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Kano. Nice to talk to you, mate. I've got to tell you, you're making me feel real bad about myself when I see you on social media running marathons around tennis courts, mate, and your brother flexing up. I better get back into the gym. Jeez. <laughs> oh, the brother's out of control. The brother is oh, taking he's this to a new level. Uh, he's mental. Man, he, is there he, is there a contest there? What what's the go? Does no, he well, he's putting to... he's putting us all to shame. I, I'm I'm the oh, skinny yeah. runt of the family, and he's <laughs> he's the buff one at doing extreme <laughs> things, still pumping some iron <laughs> at the age of forty. Um, your homeschooling has that treating you? Oh, mate, that's that's intense as well. It's only a grade uh, three, four, and five, and I'm doing my nut uh, yep. trying to remember how we used to do it, brother. It's just. Uh, it's full on, but it's, look, there's different systems and we're just relearning and trying to mitigate against the energy of three young boys. So uh, out, out on bikes when the weather's okay and, you know, the basketball hoop and back in to do the uh, creative writing. So fun and games. Mm. We'll take us through what you're up to as well. You've, you've been pretty innovative. There's a, an app you've created or you're involved in called Team App and it is a great way mm. of connecting sporting clubs and communities. Can can you run us through it and how we can use it to stay connected in this strange world that we're living in at the moment? Yeah, thanks, Kano. I, I, look, I thought it was a great time to jump on and talk about it, uh, considering what we are uh, trying to do. I think everyone everywhere is trying to stay connected as much as possible. And the team out has been around for a good five to ten years now. We, we sort of came up with the idea. It was all about not necessarily our elite clubs. It was more about grassroots level clubs being able to you know enter the new wide world of business and 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 you know the way the world works these days is everybody's chatting over phones and that's how it all started but it grew to become this really what was a beast really we've got six million users all around the world um australia is obviously dominating that that there with uh, 40 50 000 clubs um We've become the, the largest team and club management platform in Australia and the second globally. So we're really proud of that. And unfortunately, what's happened with the world lately, a lot of players in this space have fallen over. We just wanted to let everybody know that Team App's still, you know, kicking butt, really, because a lot of people are trying to stay connected and some clubs out there are using it really well to talk to their people. So when we come out the other side of this pandemic, you know, clubs probably are going to really struggle in the business side of things. Um, so Team App's a great way, uh, you know, to fix that up. Stay connected. Start, keep talking to your important people, your members, your, your sponsors, your players. And then when you come out the other side, we can get going as fast as possible. So essentially a sporting club, whatever level that is, can create their own app and use that as a way to communicate with everyone involved in the club. Absolutely. Look, a lot of... A lot of people know about Team App. I've heard about Team App are using it because their school's using it, or it might be a, a business is using it. We are focused on sport, but uh, really anybody can use it. Any anyone anywhere, any club business, uh, you know, it, it's really really usable. But uh, yeah, get online, TeamApp.com, and within minutes you've created your own app for your phone for your club. Uh, it might be a bloody book club you've got. It's just a way of staying connected in real time. You know. We're all about, uh, you know, that, those little alerts in your phone, on your phone that comes up straight away. Well, that's what Team Maps all about, being able to, you know, update people. We, there's so much more to it. Uh, even even my, my granny, I reckon, could uh, make her own app. That's how easy it is to do these days. And Team Maps is a great platform to do that. So everyone loves their club. Everyone loves their sporting club. They want to look after their sporting club. They want to talk to their people. They want to let them know where training is. They want to let them know where... You know, what training regimes, especially now, my boy's playing rep basketball, so they, down here at the Southern Sabres, they're using it really, really well, sending out videos to all their players, their young juniors. You know, these are some of the uh, regimes you can do uh, while you're in uh, lockdown, you know, bouncing techniques, shooting techniques, get out here and do this. Uh, so things like that you can do with Team Apps. Just get on board, have a look at it, uh, get it downloaded. But really, we just wanted to let everyone know that's already involved Team app's kicking ass. Uh, we'll, we'll be fine. We're just going to come out of this on the other side and uh, start going again. Rusty, mate, always good to catch up. I hope that guitar is working nicely for you in, in isolation. And uh, we'll speak to you soon, mate. Good on you, Ken. I appreciate your time. See you, mate. Russell Robinson, former Demon, great. And Team App is an innovative business that he is using to 
continue to um, spread the message at Community Sport. It is six minutes to 11 o'clock. Plenty coming up in the last hour. You are listening to the Captain's Run right here on SEN.